American women are damaged goods. Disagreeableness, as well as conflict. That's what we're gonna get into today. Why did they do this? Holy cow, we're gonna have a good, good show. So go ahead and donkey punch the like button, finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section. Then I want you to share this video and let all your buddies know we mean business over here. Set up your clarity call for when you need assistance. Because a lot of you guys need help. I know you do. I've had people reaching out to me, nervous. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna take care of you. We're gonna make more money and we're gonna get our heads, heads right and prioritize our lives with our action plans. So let's get started. Today is all about American women being damaged goods. Oh, it's gonna be an interesting one. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why are they so, why are they always so disagreeable? Why is there always conflict on their mind? Well, it's very, very simple, gentlemen. In our stupid country, we came up with this whole philosophy. Yes, it's a philosophy that men and women are equal. They are not. They are not. Men and women are different. In fact, everybody's different. This is part of understanding life and keeping your mental sanity. Now, for example, if you believe men and women, everybody's equal, oh, well, it's by rights and this, guys, stop segmenting. You're not gonna segment this argument and try to break it down that way. You either are or you, or you are not. Now, if you believe men and women are equal, how come they cannot lift as much as the average man? How come they have tits and a pussy and you don't? We're not equal. Equal means the same, dummy. It's very simple. Look it up in the dictionary. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because women in this country are taught that they're the same as us. The problem starts when they start to behave that way. Now, you think in a utopian society this would work perfectly, but it doesn't. Because women are hypergamous. They want somebody that's better than them. This is just biology. Now, when you try to fit biology into social constructs that don't agree, you're going to end up with a lot of friction. So what you get is a bunch of women in America who go after jerks and assholes who believe that they're better than the women. It has nothing to do with them being assholes or jerks. It has to do with them believing that they're better than the women that they're with. Does that make sense? So, when I, here's the perfect contrast. If you go to a foreign country, most of your traditional foreign women do not believe in equality at all. Not even a little bit. They believe that the men are the house, head of the household, they run things, and that they, as a woman, are gonna take care of the house in terms of like the kitchen and stuff like that. But the man is the head of the household. Do you guys get it? And she's supportive. So what does this have to do with American women? American women are damaged goods because they always have to compete with you. They always have to see if you are better than them. And if you are not, they are going to always be trying to level up because they'll never be satisfied, gentlemen. They believe every man is equal to them. Do you see how fucked up it is? Every man is equal to them, but they're always searching for a better guy. This is why American women have a sort of disconnect with reality. Does that make sense? It's really messed up over here, guys. And so they're gonna be constantly in conflict with you constantly not sometimes they're always thinking about it how can i create problems how can i test him this is where all the shit testing comes into play because they are always testing to see if you're better than them does that make sense now the moment you be nice the moment you're at their level and equal and on an equal playing field is when everything goes to hell because now they think that they can't level up and they're not leveling up and that's why you're getting so many women divorcing men of incredibly high status they still think that they can upgrade do you understand how mentally ill that is you literally have a guy like I don't know uh, Sylvester Stallone married for 25 years his wife is in her 50s and she thinks she's gonna upgrade 
to a better guy. And he's got, what, $400, $500 million? Do you see how mentally ill it is, guys? It's, It's over. And the reason why I do these is because I want you guys to understand what you're getting into if you stay with the American women. A lot of guys are new to this channel. A lot of guys are just figuring all of this out and understanding why it's over. And one of my independent contractors, even him, he just bought a house with an American girl in Florida. I'm like, oh, oh boy. But I'm not going to say anything to him. He's going to find out the hard way. Because no matter what type of cool chick you think you've got, and a unicorn, and all this, guys, it's irrelevant. What they've been trained to be is the only thing that matters. And that is in conflict with you. Constant disagreeableness constant conflict now the exact opposite of that the antithesis of that is the foreign ladies they are agreeable they want to find solutions that doesn't mean you're never going to have conflict with them but it means that you're going to find solutions american girls don't want a solution they want chaos they want drama they want to fight this turns you guys have to understand the american woman brain has been warped from birth they need conflict with you to get turned on this is how sick and warped our society is it's gotten bad guys it was never like this before and now it's i don't even know what to say sometimes it's 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 taken such a steep dive that it's it's almost laughable and that's why i always laugh at the american girls and i get them all riled up is because I know that they're on the path to self-destruction. The key is for you not to be along with them. A lot of you guys are just getting a red pilled. You're just getting to this content. The good news is I always have solutions for you gentlemen. But the conflict with American women will never go away. The disagreeableness will never go away. It will always be there. Which is of course why they're on antidepressants why they are on massive amounts of head meds. I mean, never before in history has it been this bad, guys, and it's not gonna get any better anytime soon. The reason being, I know you guys don't wanna hear this, but it's not gonna get any better anytime soon because, well, because of all of the massive amounts of simps out here kissing their asses. Not only that, the mothers are, are competing with the, with the daughters. What else, what other evidence do you guys need? You've got the mothers, you've even got grandmothers promoting their bad behavior. Disagreeableness, fighting, constant conflict. That's why we make such good movies in America because of the massive amounts of drama that happen here. And it's just not that way overseas, guys. Everything is much more calm. There's more conflict resolution, much more agreeableness. So just make sure that you guys understand that the disagreeableness is not something that you can stop or cure or control. It is nothing you can do about it. Now you're gonna see it at much higher levels at the lower socioeconomic levels, right? With the poor people, the poor women, you're gonna see a lot, a lot more conflict. Now, on the upper levels, for a lot of you guys who quote unquote wanna become high value, the problem with your guys' strategy of getting high high value and then getting American women, that does not work either, guys. The conflict is now more passive-aggressive. It's more of gaslighting. Oh, you're going to go and work? You're going to go play football? The conflict is always there, guys. It will never be resolved. The disagreeableness will never be resolved. This is their hard wiring. This is how they've been trained. Now, the, the reason why I always bring up the foreign ladies is you understand that number one, there's options, and number two, this isn't normal psychological behavior. It is not. And every time we tell people, oh, you're equal, you're equal, it, it fucks them up. And now they're on this path to trying to destroy you because you are their competition. That's what you guys don't understand. The American women see you as competition. So every time you go home, now she's competing. Oh, you know, yeah, I, I, I worked 10 hours today. How many hours did you? It's always a competition. Oh, not always. Guys, 
you are very naive if you think like this because it's not what's on the surface it's what's underlying the mentality it doesn't matter if they don't do it all the time or they do it once in a while it's always there do you see what I'm saying so you guys need to shut off your blue pill programming for a minute and start to see things as they really are because these women are a mess and it's much more passive aggressive and like I said with the baby boomers especially in the white community you see all these places I walk around mostly white people guess who's in charge it's not the husband I'll tell you that much it's a fat little whale with a short bob haircut of gray hair with a massive belly okay that's what you see barking orders <laughs> defying they've switched you guys have to understand the role reversal has already occurred because there is never such thing as equality how do you even measure it exactly you can't so all the get to detractors and people say oh no this is please explain to me how you can be completely equal you can't so shut your fucking mouth and sit back in the red wagon back there because I'm always going to school your ass for all you morons who don't know how to crack open a book or look up statistics or anything like that. But don't worry, for my guys, I crunch the numbers. I crunch the numbers every day. I'm always researching. I'm always looking things up. So remember, disagreeableness, number one, and conflict. That is what you're going to get when you take out the American women and it's hardwired into their brain. You cannot fix it, it will never be fixed. Lower socioeconomic levels are gonna be more direct conflict, right? Uh, a lot of the black guys talk about the black girls fighting with them and you see it all the time. They're, 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 they're disrespectful on a level I can't, even ima I can't even get to. And the reason being is because they think they're equal to you. That's the problem. They've been trained that way. Right now, the white girls they do it more insidiously. It's passive aggressive. It's like little needles at your ass, little needling. Now you're gonna go to work, oh, you motherfucker. Now you're gonna work on your motorcycle again. Oh, God. they'll say shit under their breath, and you'll be like, "What'd you say? Nothing. Nothing, hun." Guys, make no mistake. If they are um, this is another thing you guys need to understand. If they're American. Asian, American white, American black, American Indian, it doesn't matter. It's all the same garbage. It's all the same garbage. You're, you're playing in the, gar in the gutter, in a dumpster. It's garbage treatment. And of course, you've been programmed to accept this garbage treatment because you've never had the foreign ladies. You go back to my Go, go Foreign C series, guys, you're going to be blown away. They treat you like you would never... It, it's, it's so unbelievably genuine that it's almost, it, it's almost painful for you to accept the, the, the treatment. It, they give you massages. They rub your feet. They clean your nails. They'll do anything that they can to let you know that they're a good woman. This is the type of behavior you're, you guys are not ready for. You guys aren't ready for it. Now, some of you guys are. You're starting to get it. You're starting to... Okay, I think I can handle this. But a lot of you guys aren't ready for this preferential treatment. And it's not a bad thing. It's just going to take you a minute to acclimate. And that's why I get so much push... Guys, I get more pushback. I get more pushback from friggin' from simps than I do from the women. I get more pushback from simps. Because simps are so, their self-esteem is so low, they could never even imagine being treated as well. Simps are literally fighting with me about being treated better. And it's pathetic. It really is pathetic. It's, it's, it, it makes me sick to my stomach. That's how pathetic these guys are. But I know that you guys, you guys are working on coming over to the light which is the happy little foreign ladies. So conflict is always gonna be high from American women. It does not matter the race. It does not matter. You are barking up the wrong tree, gentlemen. If they are liberal American women, and by the way, even the conservative ones, even, guys, I know I did a Tradcon one, but even then there's that undercurrent. 
And the reason being is because society's pressure is too great. If all of society is telling you every day a certain thing, you need to be you need to be a bitch, you need to be a bitch. It's going to seep into your head. I don't care how much you fight it, especially women, guys. They can't fight society. They're not like us. They're very very they're plugged in. And a woman who's not plugged in socially is a depressed mess. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, when you go overseas, you're going to be dealing with women who are in a society that tells them, hey, it's okay to be a woman. You can get married. You can have kids. You can be gentle to your man. It's very supportive of them. So, you know, at the end of the day, the American women, you have to, you have to realize they have been programmed. Now, it's definitely their fault for being fucking cunts. Don't get me wrong, guys. But... At the, they've still been programmed by society. All right. Now, if they want to come over and get deprogrammed, if they want to set up a clarity call, that's fine. It's going to take a long time. Ladies, I'm not going to lie to you. If you really want to do this, if you want to get deprogrammed, it's not going to be like Kevin Samuels. It's going to be worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to be bad. Because deprogra- deprogramming, deprogramming your angry ass is going to take a lot of work. Ah, but anyway... Damaged goods, yes. American women, a thousand percent damaged goods. Conflict, you're just going to be dealing with it, guys. The disagreeableness, it's very, very similar vein, but they they have to have that conflict, and they have to be like, they have to. When they disagree with you, it's like it turns them on, and you guys are going to notice the worse you treat them, the more disagreeable you are with them, the more they get turned on. But once again, I, I, would, I wouldn't recommend it for you gentlemen at all because it's just a massive downward sp- uh, spiral into sickness, mental illness, and that's not what we're about over here. If you really want to deal with them, hey, have at it. Like I said, for me, I can handle them in short bursts, especially uh, American sugar babies. They're, they're great because you can just kick them to the side of the road. It's like the greatest. It's unbelievable. But, um, yeah, guys. And you know what's funny? Speaking of which, there's tons of American sugar babies for a reason, gentlemen. Not a lot of foreign ones. Surprising. Not surprising. Because remember, they have that, you know, they constantly need uh, attention, number one. And not only that, they believe that their pussy is worth a ton of money and all this crap. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, well, why are you paying for American women then? Because they're actually inexpensive. <laughs> oh, all the little college ladies, all the little college chicks. <laughs> they're inexpensive, guys. They're very inexpensive. But for the most part, I deal with one, to be honest with you. Uh, there are a couple sugar babies here and there from like conservative states that I can actually stomach for short periods of time. But as far as long-term guys, oh hell, I'll I'll hook up with them with for like a month, two months max. I see them like once or twice. That's it. Kick him inside of the road. Move on. But as far as like the foreign ladies, oh yeah, I've got a couple foreign ladies that I'm still talking to. Um, I'm just dating on the side, you know. They're incredible guys. They are freaking incredible, especially traditional ones. Uh, but as far as like settling down right now for me. I'm good. Maybe later on when I go to these other countries, but as far as like the ones that stay, that I keep uh, on the back burner, I don't really have a rotation. I just have a couple chicks that I see periodically. But to be honest, uh, the foreign ones are spectacular, guys. Traditional foreign. They're not obviously as traditional. They're not traditional foreign because if they were, we'd already be married or be boyfriend and girlfriend. But I'd say they're kind of in between a liberal foreign traditional foreign because they still have those qualities um, but they don't they're not looking for anything serious either oh but yeah somebody me? What the fuck I thought somebody was following me I get paranoid but uh as far <laughs> but I do I I guys if you need a quick nut for like a hundred bucks fifty bucks I'm not kidding guys some of these sugar babies you would not believe I know some of you guys aren't on the dark side but I, I swear to god these American girls it's unbelievable how for the price of a date 50 bucks guys you have to factor in your time 
your gas, how much it's gonna cost to take them out, fuck it, here you go. Here's a fistful of 20s, bye. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you want me to spend the night? Hell no, you're not spending the night. By the way, guys, I have not mentioned that before. Don't let them spend the night, guys. Do not. You're risking some big, big problems because now you're sending a very clear message to them. I haven't really got into the whole American Girl dating thing, guys. I guess if you want me to do a special on that, I will. But I don't recommend it at all. And I live in a gated community, so I can kick out the American Girls and they can't get back in anyway, so they can't really do much, which is awesome. But... <laughs> Damn, I'm hearing shit again. So, make sure that when you're dealing with American women in any capacity, do not get too personal with them. They're extraordinarily combative because that's their mechanism to being turned on. I know it's crazy, but the more you fight with them and piss them off, make them emotional in a negative way, the more they're gonna get turned on. Now, like I said, the foreign women are completely different. They actually will pair bond with you. They will be happy when you're nice to them and you're gentle. To Guys, it's a completely different mental, uh, it, it's just completely different mentally. And that's why I want you guys to know that this is why it's so imperative for you to just stay away from the American girls completely. Just stay away for your own mental health. For me, I got checked out of them a long time ago. I only use them for sugar babies. Like, they're so plentiful. If they were really expensive, I'd be like, nah, I just go after the foreign girls, but they're so, <laughs> the college chicks are lined up, baby. So stay away from the combativeness, combativeness, stay away from the disagreeableness in, and I guess, look guys, if you really want to hook up with American chicks periodically, go ahead, but that's up to you. That's up to you. Um, the reason also, another reason why I keep them as sugar babies, a little bonus contact for you is so that I can sever the relationship immediately and just keep them away from me. So they know I want nothing to do with them personally. Zero. I don't want to know about their car accidents and their headaches and their, their boyfriends they're dating. and this. I, I, I couldn't care less. Tell it to somebody who cares. I'm not even joking, guys. They, they message me all the time and ask me all these stupid questions. I'm like, look, pay for me. That's it. Oh, I want a mentor and this and that. I want a boyfriend. No, dude. No. Hell no. I want zero of that, zero percent. Just leave me the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. But anyway, this one's a short one today, guys. Just remember, mental health, we're not all equal. We're all different. That's a good thing. And mainly, I'll be keeping you guys up to date with how the American girls are going to destroy your life, how it's going to be broken down. And this is just straight objective information, guys. It's not subjective at all. If you really break it down, this is how women operate in the United States. So for now, let's just leave them alone. If you're gonna deal with them, math at the most to hook up. Sugar babies is preferable. But other than that, guys, you're really running the risk. And don't, hell no, don't date them. Hell no. There's Dating is dead anyway. Who the fuck dates anymore? 80 year olds? I, I don't even know. And if you really need to, guys, just get a pocket pussy. I'm not even playing with you, a fleshlight. Use one of those things, especially if you're saving up and you're in monk mode, all this. Just, just stay the fuck away from these American bitches. They're only gonna ruin your self-esteem. And for 100% sure, stay the fuck off of dating apps. They will only lower your self-esteem and make you depressed. Even if you're not a good looking guy, even if you are not necessarily the most economically attractive, it doesn't matter. Guys, you can get sugar babies. Even for the guys that don't have a ton of money, you're gonna, you're probably gonna save money with the sugar babies. I'm not even, I'm not exaggerating, guys. For the price of a date, maybe two dates, you get some ass. You don't have to dress up. You don't have to do nothing. Close that ass and be done with it. But anyway, guys, until next time. I'm watching you. Let's get to it. <laughs>